Welcome to Jesse Panda 10 and the Drop Shop Garage. Today, guys, is our 32nd weekly update vlog. Only about 20 more until it's a year. Yep. That is crazy, guys, that we are over halfway to an entire year of making weekly update vlogs. So I am at 325 subscribers. I gained two from last week. It's pretty good. Not the greatest, but it's good. Um, the, my first video is behind the scenes that was filming at ON TV. That was where I was doing a gear review. It was about two knives. Actually, the other day I ended up buying one of them. So it's pretty good. I would suggest getting them if you don't have one of those knives or need a reliable knife. The second video that I made is I got my new, oh, let me set this down before it falls. My new, if you can see it. Jesse Panda 10's glasses. I don't know if you can see that very well, but let me open it for you. This is very cool, guys. Look at this. Let me see if I can grab them. You did a whole video on it, right? Yes. Boom. Look at those things. They look really cool. I just fold them open like this. They're polarized, so I can't really see the screen. But yep. I cannot see what I look like at all. Yep. So basically, you blew your whole first paycheck on these. Yeah. If you see, whenever you turn it, it looks different. <laughs> it doesn't on camera, but it does. Yeah, I blew uh, $250 on these glasses. Awesome. Yep. Hope you guys... Oh, I completely forgot to show you the coolest part. So you guys know the name of my channel. Well, look at that. <laughs> can't see it. I think you're just putting it too close. If you, okay, yeah. that says Panda 10, and then this one says Jesse. If you can, yep, Jesse Panda 10. Kind of like on the case. Well, that's enough of showing off my glasses. And then let's get back to the other stuff. Another cool thing that happened this week is that my popcorn video, how to pop popcorn in a big theater size cover mm -hmm. uh, I got 12,000 views it's at like 12,300 at the moment so it is exploding still still going uphill still going up yep what video did you make for the week I just said I'm saying that okay <laughs> I just did the behind the scenes of the ON TV studio and then the glasses cool cool so this is our vlog number 32 so yeah it's been really cool it's been an adventure everything's yes, going really has. good as of today, I have 428 subscribers. This week I only gained one subscriber, but it happens like that. So the one subscriber, thank you very much for joining. This morning I had 429, but then when I looked, it was down to 428. So I guess somebody must have not liked what we put out. So I had four videos for you guys. The first video was a Murray Weed Whacker. So it showed you guys, you know, how to use it, where the spark plug goes. They're pretty dependable. Those Murray's Weed Whackers, they're not expensive. If you wanted an expensive one, you would get an Echo or a Still. They're called Still, the real expensive ones. Echo is the top of the line from Home Depot. That's what I mostly buy, like when I buy a chainsaw or something, because I want it to last a long, long time. So I buy the Echo brand. But this Murray Weed Whacker was cheap. It was like 110 bucks. I bought it a couple years ago, and it has never given me any issues. So if you guys want to buy a really nice weed whacker and don't want to spend a ton of money, that one is the way to go. Murray is the exact same thing as Home Light. I don't know why different stores put different names on them, because if you ever take them apart and like actually look at the parts, they're exactly the same. Exactly the same, because I've done it before. I've bought like leaf blowers, and they're two different brands, like Murray and Home Light. And I've looked at them, I've took them apart, and they're identical. I think they just put different names for different stores. Probably just a store brand. Oh, brand. <clears throat> yep. But they're made in the same factory. Yeah, that's how all off-brands are. Yep. And then my second video was a view of Lansing. That one was really cool because it was when we went to Lansing for the Capitol, for the state, uh, what's it called? The ONTV. Oh, the Scout, Scout Day at Scout the Capitol. The Capitol. Yes. But this, this view was from when we were on like the third, third floor, floor on a balcony and it shows you like, you know, down the street and all the buildings. So it's a really high up view. So that one's really nice. Yep. So I'll talk more about that. So we went to Scout Day at the Capitol, which you guys already know about that because I believe we've talked about it. 
a couple what times. What we did get to do is we went to the bottom floor. We asked if we had permission to go throughout the entire building, and they, they said yes. they had like full reign of the entire building. So what we did is we went to the third floor because there was a certain person who had this office, and in this office there was this little door, and then if you go through the door, there's this really nice balcony. And, and they let us go out. Yeah, they let us go out on the balcony, and it's basically you look down this uh, road, and it like splits the city in half. This road, and it's really beautiful. It's uh, full of flowers. Yep. Really My cool. third video. This one I think you guys will enjoy. It's a twenty twenty two tracker 600 atv review from the bass pro shop because whenever i put these reviews of like four wheelers and mini bikes and things like that you guys really like them so hopefully you like this one it was a 2022 tracker 600 the only thing that i've noticed is that the prices are getting really expensive on them every single time that we look at them even when it's only like six months apart it seems like every six months they go up about a thousand dollars and then the price goes up and then i have noticed that the quality goes down <laughs> i'm not trying to be mean or anything because i love four wheelers and we own yeah. four wheelers we own mini bikes we own a lot of things and um, so we like them but yeah the prices keep going up and the quality keeps getting cheaper because in this review, I showed you guys like the plastics. That's what they call it, the plastics all around the wheel wells and the fenders. Most people that have ATVs just say, oh, that's called the plastics. But I, I touched it with my finger and I showed you guys that it's really cheap. And it doesn't even look that good. Like the old ones, you know, they're rounded and they have like they nice shiny. tail lights and nice paint jobs. And this one, they just put like one tail light in the middle because they're probably saving on instead of using two tail lights, they just put one in the middle. And then the plastic, just like in my opinion, color. but it just looks cheap. Then the fourth video was for all my fishing guys out there. It's a, and this one got really far ahead. I don't even know how it's out there, but it's a 2000, it's a 2023 tracker fishing boat. It was really pretty. It was all black with silver stripes and it came with a trolley motor and it came with a real big motor on the back it had um three seats but you can always buy more yeah, and it's got these little plate things that have these uh circles in them and then you just set the chair down yeah so anytime that you buy a fishing boat i mean just be happy if it's got two or three seats because you can always buy more seats yeah. and they always have tons of room in the front and in the back in case you wanted to like lay out and get a suntan or you just had a couple kids and they just want to sit like on the side i don't know if it's legal or not but i guess you don't, I don't need know seat people with like fishing boats if they want to get a suntan they still do if you're out there fishing for like eight or nine hours and say that you have a wife or a girlfriend <laughs> and she's tan. bored out of her mind. She's Wouldn't gonna, you want to be fishing? She, no. she might want to get a suntan. I don't know. I was just saying. Okay. So that was my fourth video. And then the only fun things we did this week is we went to, we got another video coming out, but we're working on it right now. We went to Harbor Freight. So That's we'll let good. you know what the next video is. It's going to be a video of a little cargo carrier. We bought a little cargo carrier that's all aluminum, and we're going to put it together, and then we're going to install it on the truck. The reason we bought the aluminum one is because we thought that it already came put together, but then when we got home, we opened up the box, and we're like, what in the world? There's like a 100 screws, and you got to build it yourself. But it wasn't that bad. We're going to try to finish that one later on today. There is a video on my channel. It's going to be pretty much identical, except uh, you kind of skip the process a little, a little tiny bit. Because <laughs> uh, I made a video. It was about the Coleman 200, the most recent one. It actually ended up being his. Uh, so we bought it from a store around here, and then we unboxed it. We put it together um, like one step at a time. We poured the oil in, and we all did it like one step at a time. And I recorded it, and it's kind of like a time lapse, but not really a time lapse just little video clips yep. and it was one of the best videos on my channel i would say at the moment because i put uh, music over it and it was pretty cool yep and that was like a year and a half ago yeah so for this video for this harbor freight um cargo carrier i asked jesse for help because usually i make my own videos and i just upload them straight to youtube yeah. but this one's gonna since it was like a two or three process one you know he's gonna have to film a few minutes cut 
and then film a few more minutes and then cut and then and i just don't know how to glue them all together i yet. know how to do that he's so got to teach me one day we made like two or three clips yesterday of him actually showing us the box opening the box what's inside the box then it started raining we uh, went inside and then i went to work yesterday so then he kind of put it, it without me. <laughs> so I, I, there's not going to be that much footage of it going together, but it's about It'll it. It'll turn out good. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Bass Pro Shop. So we went to Bass Pro Shop. We love it. It's close to our house, and it's really nice. And you can always look at four-wheelers. You can look at boats. You can buy clothes. I went there to get some of these, the lanyard things for my glasses. It says Bass Pro. Uh, I don't know. These clip onto my glasses on the little tip things on here. They like clip on, you put it around your neck so they don't fall off because I go kayaking all the time. Yep, so, and he bought his really nice fancy glasses so he doesn't <laughs> want to lose them. Yeah, I definitely don't want to lose those or scratch them or drop them or anything. Yep, and then the only other thing we did was um we worked pretty much all week. I worked almost all week. He worked almost all week. And now he's got um, good, really good paychecks, so the money's just itching in his pocket. That's why we're like, let's yes. go to Bass Pro Shop, and let's go to Harbor Freight, and let's, go to, let's get some glasses. That's cool. He'll learn. He'll learn. The, the really cool thing about it is it's his own money now. He's going to yeah. work. It's his money. So now he'll learn to spend it. Yes, I will. Yep. So, um, what else do you want to tell these awesome viewers? I do, do you have, have a joke? joke. I do have a joke this week. Hey. How do they keep basketball arenas cool? How do they keep them cool? They fill them with fans. Yay. Yay. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, guys. Um, if there's anybody... Out. What else do you want to show them? If there's anybody out there that's watching this vlog and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I mean, it's free. It doesn't I cost can. anything. Uh, yep. It's totally free to subscribe. And then, you know, you get to see our videos every time we put out videos. And we're trying real hard on them. We're making videos. We bought, like, little cameras to make them better. Like when he goes on mini bikes or he's yep. got a helmet cam and a chest cam and all kinds of cams. And then um, me, I went and bought an iPhone last year like in December, so that it would um, help me for my videos. So, Because I used to make videos, and I still do now. There's still two or three minutes, because after two or three minutes, you kind of run out of stuff to talk about, you know, when you're making reviews. Yeah. But now I can make tons of them, and it, my old phone used to say, you're out of memory, you're out of memory. So after every time I used to make a video, I used to have to erase it. So I could only make one video, erase it, upload it. Make a video, upload it, erase it. And now, this phone, you wouldn't believe it, guys. I have like a hundred videos still saved on here, and it is nowhere even near running out of memory. Yep. He thought the other day there was this ad on YouTube, and it was like, oh, memory storage out of storage or something. And he actually told me he thought it was real. I thought it was real, um, but yeah, I don't know. Why did they put it on there? They put it on there just to trick you. To trick people. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, I hope that you guys have a really, really good week. I hope everything goes really, really good for you guys. Um, everything's been going pretty good for us. And pretty soon, Jesse's going to be going on a summer camp. Oh, yeah, I'm going to film a lot of that for you guys. They might come out like maybe a week after summer camp because I might edit a lot and maybe get it on the little camera thing. Yep, so but every like year we have one week of summer camp and it's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, it's one and, week from today. Yep, and um, yep, it'll be really cool and... That's it. So please like and subscribe. You know, this is the Drop Shop Garage. And just been done. And I hope you guys have a great week. And we will catch, catch you, you guys, guys on the on next, the next one. one.